Any production that involves union members, such as sag after or the DGA, will require the payment of residuals. So it's important for producers to understand the mechanisms and calculations of residuals and the additional contractual obligations required by the unions. I, James Pichitti, Entertainment Attorney and Production Counsel in Los Angeles. If producers hire union actors, writers, or a crew, then the production will have to abide by the basic agreements of those unions, including the payment of residuals. Residuals paid to union members include all additional compensation, including benefit plan contributions that may become due under the applicable collective bargaining agreements. And this occurs when a project is exhibited, distributed, or otherwise exploited other than for theatrical. Residuals are payable on advances and other minimum guarantees, overages, or similar lump sum payments provided by distributors. Due to the requirements of paying residuals, producers will be required to sign multiple agreements with various parties in addition to being a union signatory. Each of the unions will require the production company to sign a security agreement, which gives the union a security interest in the revenues of the film in order to secure payment of the residuals. Though technically producers can pay residuals up front, it is customary for independent film producers to pay residuals out of revenues. And if residuals are payable out of revenues, the unions will require the producers to enter into an agreement with a collection account manager or CAM. I discussed CAMs in detail in another video, but concisely CAMs are a trusted third party that will set up a collection account that receives the revenues uh, generated by the exploitation of a film. The producer, the applicable unions, uh, the sales agent, if there's one, and any other party with a major financial interest, such as financiers, financiers or talent, uh, will enter into a collection account management agreement, or CAMA, with the CAM. In addition to security agreements, and a CAMA, the unions will also require the producer to hire a payroll house and to enter into a payroll house agreement. The payroll house is an independent service provider specialized in the calculation of residuals. In, in addition to the various agreements that will need to be entered into, producers should be familiar with the application of the recoupment schedule uh, under these agreements. The recoupment schedule sets forth in, in which the manner and order that the revenues of the film are allocated and dispersed. It ensures that all parties who are entitled to receive a part of the revenues uh, including producers, sales agents, uh, financiers, investors, talent, profit participants, and also the guilds actually receive their share. Residuals are paid off the top in the recoupment schedule and are second only to the payment of fees and expenses uh, associated with the collection account manager. The CAM will create a reserve uh, off the top in the recoupment schedule to hold funds for payment of residuals. Such reserve is commonly referred to as the residuals set aside. The CAM will set aside from every dollar received uh, in the collection account a standard, a, a standard percentage for payment of residuals. The payroll house will calculate actual residuals and, that are payable and will periodically send invoices to the CAM for the exact amount of resid residuals payable, and the CAM will pay out the residuals set aside, it, the amounts due, and the payroll house will cut the checks and make payments to the individual member, uh, the individual union members. It, it's important for independent film producers to have a basic understanding of how the calculation 
and payment of residuals works and be sure to account for the payment of residuals in their financing model. If you have any questions or if you have a project you wish to discuss, don't hesitate to contact us.